I'm going to show you how to connect a pop-up to anything. So a pop-up, this is the way it's purchased. It comes with a fitting, and that fitting is thin wall PVC. So if you have thin wall PVC, it's going to fit just perfect. If you find it don't fit and you have PVC, you probably have thick, thick wall PVC. So in that case, you're going to want to use this fitting because it slides into your thin wall PVC and then it'll allow you to glue it on to the thick wall PVC. Now if you have corrugated pipe, I'm going to give you two options and I'll tell you why I'm giving you two options. So a lot of pop-ups you can't get your hand down in, you can't clean and that's a bad thing. So I'm no longer endorsing any pop-up that I can't reach down in and pull the leaves out. I, I can't get my hand down inside this pop-up to clean out any leaves and tree seeds. So for corrugated pipe, if you happen to have one of those pop-ups that you can't get your hand down in, you're gonna, gonna wanna use what we call the cone, okay? AKA the cone. It's a four by four, it's four inch thin wall PVC to four inch corrugated. And this is gonna allow you to make a connection and still be able to pull this apart so that you can then go in this way to clean them out. Again, I think that's a big inconvenience for the homeowner to have to dig this up and remove it. So that's why we started using a coupler that we referred to as a forever coupler. Okay, so what we recommend is to always use a pop-up that you can get your hand down in. You know, see the idea is if there's leaves in this fitting and tree seeds, that it's super easy to scoop them out. If you go with a pop-up like this, then you can use the forever coupler. The forever coupler goes over the thin wall PVC fitting that all pop-ups come with. And then it allows you to make a connection to the corrugated pipe and these barbs snap in, but they do not come out. Like you will not be able to get this apart. That won't happen. So this is a forever coupler. Those are your three types and most common connections for a pop-up. Thin wall PVC, thick wall PVC, or corrugated pipe. All right, everybody, until that next video. There's no question that the number one discharge product in the drainage world is the pop-up emitter. But there's also no denying that the number one problem with the pop-up emitter is the grass grows over it and then you can't discharge your water. Well, that's no longer the case. We've come up with a turf restrictor plate. We build the pop-up emitter inside the turf restrictor plate. It's stronger and it has a bigger outlet than any other pop-up emitter ever made, ever designed.